Hey guys and gals, uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, today's lesson is going to be a little different in that we're going to look at um, a couple of patterns that I created uh, while working on a record um, that myself and some other musicians that I play with are putting together. And um, uh, I had to go back and listen to what I had done because I forgot. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to work up, you know, parts um, specific parts and present them as a lesson. So we're going to look at two today uh, and then I may do another lesson with two more but just two for this lesson. So um, this part, this particular pattern, it was influenced by one of my favorite drummers, uh, Trilok Gertu, and uh, I absolutely love his playing, his approach, and I've been listening to a lot of Trilok Gertu with uh, Joe Zolinol, who was, of course, the keyboardist for Weather Report. And um, have you guys fallen asleep yet? If not, um, that's good. But anyway, he, he's, he's uh, one of my favorite composers. And the two of them, I just think they, they've, they work brilliantly together. Um, so the pattern I came up with was kind of based around listening to Trilok. And, you know, this is what Trilok might come up with if... He was, you know, missing an arm or really sick or, or just playing it, you know, one thirty second of what he actually could do. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, this is my uh, poor man's attempt at a tree lock pattern. So um, we'll just look at the hands first and then we'll add the foot and then I'll play it up to speed. So we're going to start it out slow and then um, we'll uh, play it, uh, add the foot, play it up to speed and I'll uh, show you a transcription. I'll have a transcription on the screen. So... Um, I'll play the left foot as well because there is a quarter note pattern that's going on amongst the other things. So the hands are like this. Okay. Now, first of all, let me play it correct and uh, a little bit faster, okay? A little slower. Okay, so the difficulty for me with that pattern is, is when it's faster is playing those three notes in a row with the left hand. So I'm going to take the right hand, play it on my leg so you can really hear the snare drum, okay? So it's... And I find that's a good way sometimes to isolate the left hand so you can really hear the dynamics. Um, the other thing that I um, will probably end up doing is trying to play that accent as a, as a side stick, or I'm sorry, as a rim shot, so it'll really stand out. So th that'd be like... Uh okay, a little slower. And practice this slow because you, you want to make sure that those dynamics are there, okay? So then let's, uh, now let's add the kick drum. Uh, let's see, so that is something like a... Uh, Um, another note about this is I tried to, when playing it up to speed, play eighth notes on the hi-hat as opposed to quarter notes, and I just was not able to get that balance correctly between the kick and the eighth notes on the hat. I may try that at, one, at, at some time, but it's, it's really uh, it's been troublesome for me to play it fast, play eighth notes on the hat, and keep that kick pattern together. All right, so that's the pattern. Um, I'll, do it, I'll, I'll play a fast, uh, you know, I'll play it up to speed, and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay? All right. All right. This next concept or idea or whatever was inspired uh, by listening to 
Chad Wackerman, actually, who's a great drummer. Um, I love what he's done, uh, what he did with Alan Holdsworth and, of course, with Frank Zappa. This was after listening to him playing on a live uh, Zappa record. It was um, the best band you never heard, um, and it's an amazing band. And anyway, one of the things I noticed about Chad's playing is he's able to play combinations between his hands and feet um, really fluidly and, and not just, you know, quads where it's two in the hands, two in the feet, or triplets where it's right, left foot, or left, right foot, but different odd note groupings. <clears throat> so I thought, okay, maybe I can use that in an introduction to this next song. So what I worked on and, and, and came up with and still working on is this pattern. And I thought of it as two groups of seven and a group of uh, two, all right? So it's 16, because this, uh, this is in 4-4, four, four, so it's 16 16th notes, so it's seven, seven, and two, okay? So the pattern is um, <clears throat> the, two, the two sevens side by side are the same. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, one, right? Okay, so that brings you back to the beat one. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Okay, actually and a one, but okay. The other thing I did was I played eighth notes on the hi hat. Okay, so that would be uh, let's see. That's all it is, okay? So one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay? It does add a little bit of a challenge to play the hat, keep those hat, you know, the hat going on the eighth notes because um, the the uh, bass drum is obviously not in the same place every time. So you got to kind of get that balance going on. So that's all it is. All right. So it's uh, snare, snare. Uh, snare, snare, tom, kick, kick, tom, kick, snare, snare, tom, kick, kick, tom, kick, snare, snare. Okay? So now I'll play that up to speed. Oh, and, and uh, also, of course, you can look at the transcription.